Hey, today was mild. We got into the 60s in some spots. You know, we're not just just banishing the 60s from the forecast. They're going to try and come back a little bit tomorrow. And then again on Friday, I think a lot of us will be in them because the air mass is mild. And this is bringing in all the rain, too. 58 in Boston, mid 60s today in some spots away from the coast. Uh, there's your warm front, a big one goes all the way down to low pressure. This is the storm center that we're watching, but the warm front comes through. It's trying to come up now and it's triggering these showers. We've seen a steady rain across uh, parts of southern New Hampshire and also the Merrimack Valley. Newburyport, Salisbury, there you are. There's some bursts of steadier rain, but the showers have just tickled Boston and the South Shore too. Nothing huge here. And there's more where that came from. This band of rain is ours for tomorrow about noontime. And this will wait until we get into early morning on Friday. So initially, it's not all that bad tomorrow morning. We do see that the showers do gang up on us by noontime, passing through as a band here. And then a pause. And then maybe a couple more sprinkles through the evening drive. Not terrible for tomorrow. Not terrible. Your best chance for getting warmth is south of the pike. But then we get into Friday here. And 5 a.m., here come the downpours. That's right. Heavy rain, and this will last at least until about 10 a.m., and then into the afternoon things dry out, and they should dry out, too, for the evening, overnight Friday night, if you're planning on going out. Now, tomorrow will be in between showers. There are a couple around for the game. It does not look like a washout. Rain delay, I think that might even be pushing it, too. I think we'll just be able to play ball, and the precipitation chance is 30 to 40%. Tomorrow's highs, here they are. Those are those 60s popping up in Attleboro and Taunton. Worcester at 58, 55 in Lowell and about 56 in Boston. That's later in the day. It may be a struggle to get up into the mid-50s. The warm front's not going to come through easily tomorrow. It gets stuck right through Boston, of course, and then the North Shore maybe not making it until tomorrow night and into Friday morning. But everybody in the 60s, rising tide lifts all boats, right? Here we are in the mild air. But unfortunately, you may need a boat if you're going to be going out Thursday night or early Friday morning with those downpours. The wind's coming up too. Gusty out of the south, southeast. Some gusts maybe up to 50 miles an hour. Here we are on Friday morning at 10. This is the worst of it. Uh, even back through Worcester and Lemonster, southern New Hampshire too. Then as we go through the day, those winds edge offshore, not before we hit maybe 50 plus to 60 plus on Cape Cod. This is your best chance for some power outages on the Cape and maybe the islands too with the strongest winds. As the storm, it's ironic, as it starts to move away, it gives us a surge of wind right through the Cape, and then it moves off. But here's your water, an inch of not even badly needed, not even wanted water, but it's coming our way. The weekend, a possible sprinkle. I mean, we're trying to mend fences here. It's not like uh, this is going to be an easy forecast for the weekend. We have a lot of clouds coming in on Saturday. There's still a stiff wind. There's a possible sprinkle, not a washed-out day. And then Sunday, a bright start and an evening sprinkle come in. 55 to 60, so a little bit of a warming trend. And that warming trend is pushed even farther on Marathon Monday. Unfortunately, we're in the 60s, mid and upper 60s, that is. And it looks like we're warmer than normal into next week. Wait for it. The temperatures are going to leap. The possibilities are endless in the 70s here for a couple of days, perhaps. By the middle of next week, the warm front should sail through here. So Monday is not the only mild day. There could be Plenty more next week as 70s come into the picture, too. Not a big reach since we've seen 70s already this April. The weekend again, there it is, 55 and 60. We're back after the break.